What is going on everybody? It's QBear QBZ. Bungie has finally done it. They finally showed us what we've been waiting a very long time to see. And that, my children, all is the sword and how Destiny Public Events will be held in the Taken King on the Dreadnought. Now, to start this video off, this Twitch reveal stream was earlier, uh, 11 p.m. Pacific, and this is just my early analysis of what was going on during the Taken King stream. Laced Up Lauren did a great job, showed it Irk and Ben Womack. They showed us a lot of great things, a lot of stuff to get excited for. One of the most notable things I saw was how effective assault rifles were at the moment. But to get the elephant out of the room, the sword, this one, the raised lighter that was revealed at the stream today. Basically, uh, the swords will operate just as heavy weapons and you'll have a number of swings you'll have before you deplete all the ammunition that you have for it. And they take heavy ammo synth and you just equip it like a regular a regular heavy weapon such as the Galahorn and such. And they also, just like heavy weapons and any other weapons, have different types of burn effects on them. Now, just think, just looking more into the Taken King, it's pretty awesome how the public events work. I really appreciate Bungie making this change, making them real objective based, forcing cooperation more than just take out this guy before he gets to this point, more than just make sure that you stay near the war sat long enough to make sure that it uploads all the way and simple stuff like that promoting real cooperation that's what i really appreciate what bungie has done on this stream uh just taking some more mental notes of what was going on source as usual uh assault rifles look absolutely sweet it was a little weird that though assault rifle that lauren was using at least up lauren was using is only had 19 round magazine but also they showed off uh how you have to cooperate with other players on the stream on the stream they showed how some of those mechanics were coming into play such as having to take down the th the two actually sorry it was three witches down at the same time before it respawns kind of a hydra like situation also a couple of other bosses one boss showed you <laughs> sorry dog one boss showed you they showed you had basically had you uh, had to have the other one near each other to have them together to make sure that you could take the shields down and then another boss to where You had the only way you could take his shields down was by exploding a curse the raw next to it But overall, I think they did a really good job. We actually got to see a lot of gameplay We actually got to see Lauren use that sword which was pretty amazing um, I feel like in PvP, uh, there's gonna be a lot of people running around with a sword and just getting murdered, wasting heavy ammo rounds. But I also like uh, some of the mechanics that they put into the public event, forcing somebody to not be AFK for all of our non-PC race people, master race, that's away from keyboard. So you can't die, sit out in the back and not play and not respond and hope that it finishes because it'll automatically time out the public event for you and you won't reap any of the war rewards so that's great that bungie does that because you could just sit at the war sat like you could just go shoot um say that it was a make it was a what's the one it was a, a kill the vip before he reaches this it reaches the final destination sorry for all the us um all you <laughs> then i just did it again but all you had to do was just shoot the guy once enter the public event and then have everybody else handle it. But with this way, it really allows more public engagement. These public events will actually mean something. You actually feel like you accomplished something and there'll be pretty good loot afterwards as well, which was showed in the stream. And then finally, the announcement, the King's Raid will begin on September 18th. It's only a few days after the official release of the Taken King, which means that Bungie expects people to be high enough level in three days, probably Twitch streamers, because they'll be playing for 24 hours. They expect people to be up to the level to be able to take on the raid. Not necessarily that players will be able to blaze through the raid, but they will be able to take on the raid, have some sort of difficulty in it, figure out all the mechanics in that manner, which seems pretty awesome. So get excited. They also showed an extended trailer uh, for 
the Taken King, and it was the and this is the final content that they're gonna have before the full release of the game. So let me know what you guys think in the description below. I'm pretty excited. I'm really glad they finally showed off the sword. They've been beating around this bush for a long time. I, I believe they could have shown it earlier. It wouldn't really hurt anything. They probably could have showed it during during last week's stream with Mr. Fruit, but I'm glad Lauren had the had the chance to debut the sword. It's pretty awesome. I'm very happy for her. Um, it's been QBear QBZ. I will see you next time. I will try to fix the ums. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Drop a like. Leave a comment. It really helps a lot more than you think. Also, I might be streaming Twitch later this week, but just I might put something up a little bit to let you guys know. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye.